Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. What we're meant to eat. I see. Oh, oh snap! This one is a smoked jalapeno. It's sweet, salty. It's so freaking good. And it reminds you of what you're used to. And you always want to say to yourself, like, dang, why they don't make this bigger? Look at the size of this. Do you see that? Get some. Get mm. some. Cavemanfoods.com. Animal Kingdom, season two, episode three. This episode's called Bleed For It. I don't know if anybody's willing to bleed for it. So it's going to go down, obviously. Who's going to be bleeding? Who's going to work for it? I think somebody's going to bleed for the truth. Somebody's going to bleed for the past. We bleed because they owe something. Tonight, I'm snacking on this Caveman's Bar. This is by Caveman Foods. It's a dark chocolate caramel cashew bar. It's the way snacks are meant to be, man. Product of the USA, America. Um, it's got cashews, sunflower seeds, black seeds, sea salt. Organic agave syrup. Oh, oh my. Mmm, it smells so good. You can definitely smell the caramel. Y'all ready? Let's start the review. Look, look, at, look at how good this looks. Do y'all see this? I wish you can just open my, take a bite right now. Out the gate, man, we're looking at Smurf and Jay hitting the highway hard in the Ram. That nice, pretty Dodge Ram going down the roadway. They're headed towards the desert to get to this funeral. What's going to happen at this funeral? I don't know, but she's preparing Jay, saying, hey, yo, look, if this happens, this is what we're going to do. This is what might happen. This is what the plan is. Stick to it. These aren't regular folks. And we see Pope on the phone talking to Baz. Hey, man, where you at? I'm lying to you. I'm really at church, but I'm lying to you. Mmm. This is so good. I'm gonna rock out with these bites. Baz, man, you didn't even ask about your daughter. You so bogus. You're like the world's world's worst dad. So they're lying about locations. Baz was too happy when he let the words come out of his mouth saying, uh, Smurf ain't in charge. Smurf isn't running things. I am. Oh, okay, so you making your own decisions? Mm, you better hope it's not your blood that's gonna spill everywhere that she has to come clean up. Clean up, woman. Hey. This chicken does not have any nitrates in it. If you're on a ketogenic diet, this is a good snack for you. Soy free, peanut free, gluten free. 10 grams of protein. And what's cool too, on the package, if you like heat, there's different levels of heat. This one is a level one. Maybe a couple episodes down the road, I'll get end up at level three, level four. Craig and Darren at the new bar, aka the Alibi, wrong show that's shameless. What is the name of this bar? The Mermaid Place? I don't know. Whatever it is. Drop a comment below if they already have a name for the bar. Drop a comment below if you have an idea as to what would be a good bar name. It was good to see Pope in church learning the gospel, the good news, spreading the positive message of faith. Are we going to see Pope get baptized this season? The world's worst girlfriend. She'll go from family member to family member. In Smurf's kitchen, as usual, always eating. You always eating. Are they trying to say that you're... Are you with child? Who baby is it? Cause you done mess with a couple couple people. You better stop messing with them Cody man. But did you also catch at the bar with Craig and Darren that it had a sign saying no one under 21 will be permitted, no one under 21 will be allowed to drink. So my question is, will this bar get shut down because of her going to the bar and drinking and getting acting out and getting caught up? Is that gonna be it? Probably. All right, so now we at the funeral. We're knowing now this is not a Kojic. This is not a Baptist. This is not a Presbyterian. This is not a Lutheran. Uh, this, is a, this is not even a non-denominational. These folks got holstered weapons. They have dirty jeans on. Felon wedding. I mean, a, this is a felon funeral. So be careful. Be careful. Before Smurf got out the car, though, she, you see, you know how you lean up? You got to do that lean to get to, do that lean to get in your... In your glove box, she she did that lean and grabbed that revolver out. You better be packing. You better be packing, cause they are. With Craig and Darren, they hinted something. He's he's so tense. He wants this bar to be successful. He's so he's making himself very tense, and um, he wants it to be the best that it can. He's, he's putting his heart into something for once. Be happy. He said, "It's on me. It's on me," and that's what makes me think. Homegirl's gonna come in there and mess it up just because he said it's on me what the customers do. Sledgehammer, sledgehammer, bam, 
eh, sledgehammer, wrong side, I said this side. I was like, oh man, you got to pay attention, Mr. Business Owner, you got to, pay, you got to be more careful, got to be more careful. Question, will it be something in that wall? Anything could be in that wall. He might come across a gang of money underneath that mermaid's boobies. Javier. Javier is such an interesting person, and I hope we get to know more about his character as the episodes continue during season two. What we do know is that Javier is jealous. I hope y'all got your snacks. Javier is jealous of Jay. You see that? You see him? Javier is bringing up how... He used to smell, he used to love the smell of Smurf's hair. That was weird. What's that about? I and mean, this tastes good. I just want to know more about their history. And we see this turquoise stone. Beautiful, beautiful turquoise stone. I love the color. What's the significance of it to Smurf and to the, the now deceased man? Took the turquoise stone and left a bag full of money. Baz is up to something in Mexico, spending $1,100 on propane tanks, wires, and cases of who knows what. Hope is Oceanside and OCD in the house with Lena. They go on and see this pigeon. We hear this big thump. It's like, it's a pigeon. It's not a dead, it's not a dead pigeon. It's a pigeon that's made contact with the glass window. And Lena goes on to say a story about how sometimes they get up, they fly away. And sometimes they get clubbered in the head by mama, who's gone. She will hit them in the head with a brick, basically take them out of their misery. She hopes that they get up every time, but sometimes they catch a brick, which is very, very deep. Because guess who else is the pigeon, metaphorically speaking? Pope. Pope is the pigeon. Isn't that something? I just really don't like the girlfriend in Mexico. She's sneaky. She's conniving. She's up to something. What others can't get Baz to do, she sneaks that it in there, feeling all his emotions. And gets her way. She's going to be the death of someone this season. I bet. She has on her Eddie Murphy raw red leather jacket. Her Chuck Taylors and her skinny jeans. Let me tell you, I love Ellen. But are these mini tape recordings going to play a huge role in this season? Are these mini tape recordings going to end up spilling the beans on something really major that happened? You let me know. She stays in the kitchen. Are you pregnant? Like, what, what's really going on? She wants to be Smurf so bad. Look, Smurf don't even want to be Smurf, but you want to be Smurf so bad, Nikki. But now she's sipping hard liquor. You are nowhere near 21. Don't do it. Nikki, Nikki's being Goldilocks, y'all. Nikki was Goldilocks in episode three. This chick was lying in your bed. I'm eating your porridge. No, 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 2017. Trying on your jewelry, putting on your scarf, playing with your money. Like, what are we doing? I ain't gonna lie. They, it, it weirded me out. You know what it was? When Smurf got on her knees in front of Jay. That freaked me out. And I was just like, things that make you go. Um, Another moment of Smurf that freaked me out was when she gave Jay that kiss and caressed his hair. Darren at the bar. Darren finally has his bar. And I'm so happy for him. Give Darren a round of applause, y'all. Um, He said, this bar will be mine. It's going to be something that Smurf cannot take. Wow, you are really, you are fighting yourself to success, which can never lead to anything great when you are battling your own demon within because you're thinking, Smurf is sleeping well at night, believe it or not. But you're, you're so stuck on making her not be a part of your success that she is driving you to success, but it's going to also drive you to madness. Greg wants to break up with Nikki. Nikki shut that down because she was like, look here now. Um, all of this is because of me. My dad may be going to Guam, but guess what? Guess what? Yeah, I know too much. You can't hurt me. I'm here. Now, what were you going to tell me? And notice, she's sipping wine like she's 21. No, baby, you still, you st you're still in high school, I do believe. Don't do that. And on top of that, she said, I'm a gangster. She got on gangster sweatpants. Did y'all pay attention to what her legs said? Her sweatpants actually had the words gangster on it. And she was acting like a boss. Now, another moment of Pope. Pope being the pigeon. Let's go back, flashback a little bit to Pope being the pigeon. Yes, Pope acting pigeon-like. You know why? Because, you know why? The pigeon had to make contact with that window, right? And fall out to get up. The pigeon has to make contact with that window to fall, to choose if he wants to be clobbered and die, or if he wants to rise and fly again and go back and do whatever he wants to do. You know what? Poe put his hand on that pot pot, 
And when he was ready to get up and fly away, he let go of it. It come out, thought they were going to grab pancakes and head back to the crib. No, they robbed it. Now, another weird point was after the robbery when they met back up at the motel and they were wrestling. Weird. Back to Nikki with Miss Miss I'm 21, aka 1716. I don't know what her problem is, but said, treat me. Stop. Nikki said, stop treating me like a kid, a little kid, she said. Darren is throwing a Hail Mary football. It's all or nothing. It's all, all bets in. He's putting it all on red. And he's going for it with this bar. Like I said, I just feel like he's going to find a whole bunch of money in them cylinders and in them walls. Because the person who was before him was obviously a dirty person. And what the people do, they, they hide their money. All in, a lot of people hide in their walls. As is at the carpet shop, shut that down. But he notices the number two. Because when you're number two, you always notice a number, another number two. Look, Javier's got all the recordings. This episode, it's about to go down, man. Before we go, I want to give a shout out to Miss Poetic Triple Eight. She has been um, representing in the comments, watching a lot of videos, showing a lot of dialogue. Appears to be upbeat for supporting the channel. Um, you guys check out Caveman Foods because, like I said, those snacks are so delicious. Like, so delicious. Male or female, you'll enjoy it, I guarantee you, because my husband tears them up. You can get them at the grocery store. Check out your gas stations. They're for a decent price. They're quality ingredients. Thank y'all for watching. Like I said, until episode number four.